This was a dream come true. And we look at plastic production, which is a million tons. And we have scientists that are super e eager to teach. This is the flagship of South Africa. This is a, an Antarctic vessel. Climate change is probably the story of our generation. We're in the, in the middle of the fire. The effects are devastating. When you look at sea level, it's really quick to see. Sea level rise is definitely increasing, and it's increasing at a faster pace. A big component of secondary microplastics are synthetic fibers, which are released from your clothes when you wash it in the washing machine. And it often just gets pumped into our rivers and into the sea. Well, the plastics all around, it's, it's evident even on the islands, where, when you go to those breeding areas where you find the birds, there's plastics all around. In their system, if they die, we do like an autopsy, you'll find there's also plastics in their bits. Uh, something we are trying to follow is how temperature, increasing temperature, is going to affect plankton. We are approaching the end of the age of people on this planet and living as we know it within our lifetime. We are long gone. We're not there just yet. So my optimistic uh, viewpoint for my lifetime is if we can stabilize. So what we are currently doing is we're sampling an area of the ocean called the ASCO array, which is through the Agullis current. I think we can at least then get a baseline study of what's happening to the, uh, in a current that basically only borders us and that has global importance. South Africans are taking ownership of our research in this area and now we are the ones doing groundbreaking research on the Agalas current. Mm -hmm.